through art. Wonderful. This meeting is being recorded. So um, usually it takes like a, a day to do the workshop. So I'm going to try the impossible and try to do something beautiful and magic and magical in one hour together. So I hope most of the most of you were at the first session. So kind of we talked a lot about uh, a little bit why to start an ecoversity and you know the kinds and diversity that exists ecoversities. And uh, so our idea is that you know um, up until recently the power to you know start an ecoversity start a university has been a monopoly, very tightly held, very expensive, very elitist uh, for the most part. Obviously there are a few beautiful examples, for example, in the 60s, but many of those have also become, um, become what they have actually st set out to challenge. Um, so our vision is that, you know, communities all over the world can start to create their own ecoversities, which are really uh, putting in center their diverse knowledge systems, their dreams for their community, their dreams for a good life, what the good life and um, what happiness and what success and progress and development, all these things get open to um, a kind of inquiry and uh, a co-creation process, a, a reimagination process. Um, so uh, what we want to do is then, um, so I'll invite everyone to just rub their hands together, create some heat, collective heat, and really rub it well, and just spread it, wiggle your fingers, send the, all the energy, creative energies, all of the things that want to be birthed in this next one hour, we, let's invite all of those energies with each other and really open ourselves for emergence um, in this session. So I would like to, uh, we're going to do basically three rounds of, of breakout sessions, of conversations and imaginations. Um, and so I would just like to jump into it if, that, if that's okay with everyone. Um, and um, uh, so the first thing I would like you to do is we're going to do a little bit of um, uh, we're going to take uh, I hope everyone has something to write with either on your screen or uh, on a pen and paper um, for all of us dinosaurs who still use pen and paper. Um, <laughs> uh, so what I would like to do is we're going to do a little bit of a, I just want to do three breaths together. So I'll guide you through, close your eyes and invite you to three breaths so we can come into this space um, uh, uh, together to start to give birth to our ecoversities. And uh, so close your eyes um, and we're gonna do um, three, bre three breaths, but uh, three, three full breaths. So the breath will have uh, 28, uh, seconds in it. Seven plus seven plus seven plus seven. So seven uh, breathing in, seven breaths, uh, seven seconds to hold the breath, seven seconds to release it, seven seconds to hold that release, and then we'll start the second breath cycle. Is that okay for everyone? Clear? So seven plus seven plus seven plus seven, and then that's a completion of one. So let us, so let me invite you to close your eyes. And breathe in slowly for second, seven seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. And hold your seven and hold your breath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And slowly release it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And hold it for seven more. One, two, three, four four, five, six, seven. And in breath again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And release. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And hold it. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. And one more in breath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And release. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And slowly rub your hands, put them on your eyes, and slowly cup them on your eyes, and slowly open your eyes and come into the space together. And <clears throat> if we are all present here now to um, let things flow. So what I would like you to do, we're gonna go in groups of three and each person will have about um, uh, four minutes to speak in the first round. So 12 minutes total. And I would like one thing I want you to, I would just like to invite really from the bottom of my my soul is space to be a bit crazy, a bit wild, a bit, you know, um, in Hindi we say pagal, um, like really just whatever's flowing, don't censor yourself from flowing in this, um, in this process, yeah? Um, so I want you to kind of uh, talk about your ecoversity as, as, if, as if it already exists. What's happening there? Who are the people there? Uh, what are they doing? What are they learning or what are they unlearning? And what is some of the beautiful things that are happening there? So I would like you in your small groups to talk and describe that. that whatever images, whatever little things are coming to you, just try to describe it. And if you, if nothing is coming to you, just make up shit. It doesn't matter, in some sense, because that will, that subconscious mind will start to drive the process. Something else will be released in that. So don't censor yourself in that. And, and if there's any kinds of key, you know, key things people are exploring, or as I said, unlearning or learning, you can talk about those things. So is that clear for everyone? And at the end of this process, I'm going to ask you to kind of listen to what yourselves are saying in that process and over those four minutes and try to come up with a name. So as I told you, we have all kinds of crazy names, Forestversity, Farmversity, University of the Streets, Jail University, Storyversity, whatever, whatever, whatever. So you can create anything out, but let the stories that you're telling about the space start to um, start to inform how you would like to name it. Is that good? And the naming will come back and write the names. We'll take a minute when we come back, but listen deeply to yourself and what's wanting to flow through you. We are all vessels, right? So I don't think, people ask me, did you create Swaraj University? I said, no, all of these things, jail University, Swaraj University, complexity, these are just, I see myself as a vessel for these things to flow. So I would invite the vessel in you to kind of hold whatever wants to be born uh, together. So let's go into the groups for 50, for 12 minutes, Andrea and Mahi. And uh, please share then uh, some visual images of what's happening in your ecoversity. Uh, I was thinking about this you know, um, rehab sort of university, which I talked to Manish earlier, that there should be a rehab. Uh, for all the people who are deluded and who failed through some, you know, competitive exam and throughout their life, they talk about that, oh, that was that one exam that I failed and they keep, you know, saying uh, about that thing throughout their life. So I think there should be a rehab of, for that. To heal them mm -hmm. from so that failure. Describe and... the space. What's happening there? Uh, I mean, it's nothing that we are not giving electric shocks to anyone. It's just a uh, space, like, uh, I don't know. I mean, I mean, maybe it's situated somewhere in a village and uh, like really greenery, a lot of greenery there. And uh, people like, like in India, there's this exam, UPSC exam. Uh, like and the other exams to get into the engineering colleges like IITs and stuff. So these people failed those exams. So I think, I don't know, I mean, confused. 
Just take some deep breaths, Mahi, maybe, and just try to see what images are coming to you. Just describe some images. What are people doing there? Okay, so I can see that a lot of people who were preparing for some sort of exam, they already have a lot of qualities in them, a lot of things that they like doing, like knitting a sweater or cooking or making, weaving a basket. So they are doing all that, you know, sort of things in that university, ecoversity. Mm -hmm. And... Um, and that university is not for a certain age of people, but there is a mixture diversity in that group as well, from you know uh, all ages and yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, keep going. We got two more minutes. <sighs> Um, so, uh, people are like, uh, like, there's space that it's a space that allows people to, you know, uh, learn their native language, their local language, their vernaculars and the local dialect and nobody makes fun of that. And uh, it's also a space of uh, learning some of the lost languages, like, you know, the place where I come from. Um, Mathly ha has its own uh, script and that's lost now. So maybe uh, it's a space for that. But it's basically rehab. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> okay, great. No, give yourself a little pause. Things will keep flowing. Just keep at it. Beautiful, Mai. Um, so we have Josie, I think, with us and Shruti are here. Um, so if you would like to, we're asking, I put something in the, Josie, the, what we were talking about before you got there is, so we're asking people to just visualize it, describe what the space is in your ecoversity. Imagine it exists, it's existing in another dimension already. So just describe it to us. Close your eyes, let it flow. Yeah. Whatever people are learning. Yes. Go ahead. You have you have about three minutes. Okay. Uh, I heard you describing the prompt, and um. um so I'm living at this rich uh, uh, in the past, which is the present. I'm living at this retreat center, and um, these there's a big, large community of people that come here for retreats where they do this healing, cleansing diet and learn about meditation. And uh, every summer, a bunch of young people come and staff and serve. Um, but the elderly couple that run this place are retiring. And this place is now uh, an ecoversity. And um, so it's an intergenerational community where people of a lot of different spiritual traditions come together. And uh, we're learning how to live together how to cook food and eat healthy and uh, live as part of the land. And um, uh, there's lots of music and uh, dancing. And um, there's, uh, there's, med there's meditation every morning and every evening. And um, there's this uh, natural clay deposits where the ponds have been dug out. And so people, people uh, have fun making pottery and 
uh, and building uh, natural buildings, learning how to learning how to make how how to build buildings and how to uh, how to use the water here to make electricity and um, and learning how to uh, yeah, how to, how to live with plants and trees to grow food and make this land flourish. And um, everybody, all the adults have a lot of unlearning to do. And so there's kind of, yeah, there's a, uh, and then the, this place is also like relatively close to a major city. Um, most of the people that are here came from that place. And um, so we still run as a retreat center where people from that city can come and get a glimpse of what life here is like. And, uh, and participate and learn and, uh, and find inner peace and learn about their bodies and about food. Okay, was Wonderful. that three minutes? Do you yeah. hear what, are, what are the adults on learning, Josie? Let's hear a few things what the adults are on learning. Hmm. I guess part of the unlearning is around like how they invest. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, their money and their time and there's a hmm. I guess there's like I think that maybe humility is a really big value here. Mm -hmm. And uh, so unlearning like ego patterns. Mm -hmm. uh, and unlearning ways of living that have been really indoctrinated in like ways of living that are really you know, driven by consumerist, fast and easy lifestyles where everything's covered in plastic and, mm -hmm. and you got to drive everywhere. <laughs> Great. Yeah. And the Thank name, you, Josie. And think about name. it. Yes, we're welcome back, everyone. The name. Are we having anyone come back, Andrea? I gotta think about a name. Yes. Yeah. Penny, give Rob Hopkins a hug from me. We were just talking about <clears throat> transition sounds. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. We're, we're, we're both part of a new kind of imagination collective so that might be something that we could bring to the room in the future yes wonderful let us know more about it so uh are we have everyone back andrea yes now we have everyone back hey megan <laughs> thank you everyone <laughs> So, Everyone's here now. Yes. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. Um, I hope um, you had a good uh, breakout. Um, what I would like you all to do is just, um, you know, in the spirit of full playfulness, I would like you to name your 
name your ecoversity and chop it in the chat box. And this is not like you're 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 gonna name it for the next thousand years. So don't be like so stressed about it. And just give it a name as an invitation. We found in our work that the naming of things is so powerful. And even those names can change uh, and grow and evolve. It's okay. Like you know, it's like we have we're named by birth, and then we have nicknames, and our friends call us different things, and some people even decide to change their names. So that's uh, that is um, all possible. But just be playful and name it. So wonderful star verse stars versity Gaia versity mountain versity or adventure versity the next thousand years. The Seed Worker Project, Nature Culture Versity. Beautiful. Ecoing, Veg Cop Polyculture Ecoversity. Great. Digiversity. Beautiful. Keep it flowing, guys. Keep it flowing. Books and Travelers City. Lifeversity. Seed Mindversity. Play in between versity. Local Ecoversity. Great. So, uh, Floris is coming in. Okay. Action versity, green tech versity. Yeah, fantastic, fantastic. So I hope you feel. I'm feeling goosebumps, guys. Reading these, um, keep it flowing. Things, but maybe by you might decide at the end of the call. This is the name. You might have a thought of three other names by the end of it, or ten other names. That's that's all possible. Um, bind body and. Sorry, whoops. Whole body versity, indigiversity, eco center, eco heart, eco pulse. Great. Um, inverted systems project, eco center, eco heart, eco pulse, whole body versity, body mind spirit restoration school. Great. So, uh, peace versity, excellent. So we can keep naming it as we go along. Um, I would love, as I said, I'm a little bit, uh, we have a lot to cover in this hour. So I'm going to move us along a little bit with your permission. Um, uh, the next uh, round of questions um, are going to be, uh, and I think, you know, let me just say one thing about this is, so the naming for me has been very powerful because I've found whenever we start naming things, it's an invitation all kinds of people, things start showing up. Um, it gives it gives a little bit of a hook to anchor ourselves and start a conversation with. And and you know a lot of what I I think I mentioned it the other day when we were meeting is a lot of what we're talking about is prototyping in all of this. So this is just version 1.0, and it'll keep evolving. But you, I feel that if once we start talking about it maybe have an event around this, maybe have some conversations. The version two will come, version three will come like that. So really want to invite you into that spirit of, of prototyping and playing uh, this playfulness uh, as we go forward. And I just wanted to say one other thing is, you know, my own experience is interesting because we have been running a center uh, for the last 25 years. And when we started uh, about 12 years ago, we started Swaraj University. And part of this thing is to, you know, there is a deep hierarchy of knowledge systems that exist. And it's so painful for me because I grew up thinking that um, my, uh, my Western educated knowledge system was far superior than my village grandmother's knowledge system. And I, you know, was so arrogant to call her uneducated or illiterate or backwards or all kinds of, or underdeveloped. And all of this kind of arrogance permeates through that. And so part of this is to create a conversation between different knowledge systems and different worldviews. It's to create a platform where we can actually have real conversations rather than this high, approaching everything from this hierarchical thing. And what I noticed is when we use the word Swaraj University, people would 
I used to meet people in mainstream universities and they would we talk about our work and they'd be like, oh, that's nice. And but with this kind of sense of, oh, that's cute. That's a cute little project, but we're a real university. So part of this whole thing is to start to become out of the space of being cute and saying that, no, this is these are also um, uh, meaningful and important inquiries, experiments, um, and how do we enter into this dialogue? And so once we started using Swaraj University, the, the same people would like listen for two minutes and say, oh, that's nice and walk away. They would start engaging for two hours. What kind of university is this? What kind of space is this? We never heard of this kind of thing. So it's a very deep personal, I've seen experience to, um, to engage people uh, who are outside of the system and in the system. So this is a very you know, sacred process, I think, in that. So the second question, I'm gonna, we're gonna go into groups again, um, and we will have, I think about 10 minutes, but we're gonna Thank talk you. about two questions. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you the, the questions and then and we'll put it in there. Um, um, why does the world need this ecoversity that you are dreaming? Why does the world need this ecoversity? And second one is, what is my purpose, personal purpose for wanting to do this? Why is it important for me? What is my purpose that's connected to it? And what's the personal fire? You know, there might be a story or something. So each person will have about three minutes. Why is this needed in the world? And why is it super important to you? Got it? Is that good for everyone? Same group, Manish? Yeah. Same one. You have three minutes to share that with the people about your ecoversity. Tell them Glory. the name and why it's important. Yeah. Yeah. Glory. Hello. Please be disciplined. Three minutes. Self discipline yourselves. <laughs> Thank you. I think you're right. We need we need more time. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Let's do another longer one. These guys only gave me an hour. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, maybe you could yeah, do it again with more time. time. Yeah, but we'll we'll have more of these, and I'm always available to help people personally. If you need any, we can make a session to to uh, support you guys. Yeah. Just to put the questions, I think it'll take time to reflect on it. But it's I'm just trying to use this time to seed some questions with all of you and and share. Um, so I hope that was uh, uh, that last round was um, meaningful and helped to bring some more stories into your ecoversity. Um, in our group, I can just share that uh, one thing that I noticed um, was uh, really the more we can bring our personal stories and things that have happened from our our childhood or our, with our friends or with our own learning journeys into this into the storytelling and interweave it with our ecoversity stories, the more powerful the narrative becomes, the more powerful the invitation becomes to others. And so it's a real, in, I think um, uh, what I'm trying to invite you to do is to also, you know, bring some more vulnerability, which is usually not the case in academia to show ourselves as vulnerable and things. So bring more of that into your story storytelling. Uh, that would be, um, I think, I found it to be very powerful in the way we've talked about Swaraj. Like I tell a lot about my grandmother and the the disconnects we had, and then how I've been, you know, trying to remember and and reconnect to uh, many things through Swaraj also in our experiences. So um, I'm just uh, I'm really really apologetic uh, for the time crunch. So please please forgive me. I was only given an hour. I thought we had an hour, hour and a half. But uh, uh, so let's uh, let's jump into the next uh, round. So everyone has a last round to share uh, with small groups, and then we'll those who can stay on, we'll have more time. I can stay another half an hour, and people want to reflect or share what what's coming up from them. We'll have time for that. Is that is that okay? I think if we can do that, it'll be good. If you can give me a thumbs up if it works for you. Um, and uh, yes, yes, Andrea. So yeah, we'll have a sharing. Those who have to go, at least they'll have gone through one round of the process and then, uh, and then
and those who can stand will have uh, space to listen to everyone's experiences and thoughts and questions. So um, last, last round is to really um, uh, take, we're gonna, and we're gonna only have, I think, six minutes for this round. So again, two, two minutes each, but to ask people, um, what are the blocks that are holding you back? What are those blocks, those fears, those assumptions, the mental models that are holding you back from giving birth to your ecoversity? So just go into that space and look at it uh, as a observer. What are those blocks and, and assumptions that are holding you back? Yeah. So um, six minutes for that. Uh, so two, two minutes each to please share about uh, maybe, uh, yeah, what are, what are, what's coming up for you with that question? Um, helped you see things. Our, our conversation at least was really uh, this coming out of the paradigm of scarcity. Basically, the conditioning of scarcity uh, was one of the very strong things. And, um, and I think uh, the, the, the friends who are in that really shared some beautiful things about how they're um, really uh, trying to step out of it in, in amazing ways. Um, so I just want to you know, formally close the session with one last thing um, and to take, take a minute and try to jot down um, three tiny, tiny baby steps, next steps, tiny ones. They don't have to be things that you can do in like five minutes. Steps that won't take you more than 10 minutes. It could be, okay, I'm going to make a poster for my ecoversity, or I'm going to go and, you know, um, uh, talk to five friends about my ecoversity, or whatever the idea is. Three tiny steps, you know, um, you, could, you could think of. Um, just take a minute to do that. You can just put it in the chat bar box. It's good, uh, Flores, that you named Marciano and Teen. So if you, rather than meeting friends, which is very a bit, you know, vague, like really put the names of those people. It'll really. Uh, Thanks for sharing your email, Jennifer. Uh -huh. Great. Yeah. Think of it as things that don't take more than 10 minutes because what usually I've seen happen, they're like big, a big thing and we're like, oh, I'll do it when I get time and that time somehow never runs. So just tiny little things, get the energy flowing. That's the idea of it. Or keep the energy flowing. Wow, nice. Oh, oh, sorry. Hmm. Great. Um, so let me uh, just want to respect everyone's time when we said one hour. So let's let me just thank you all once again for being with us. You can read what people are 
writing and um, usually when we do this process invite people also to uh, see what they can offer to support people so maybe in the group if you think of any way you you might that you heard that you could uh, offer to buddy with them support them in in their in their journeys that would be great um so thank you all for being with us and if those who have to go uh uh we will collectively thank you and release you from the call and those who can stay another 15 20 minutes you're most welcome to stay on and we can we can continue and i'd love to hear from you what's kind of bubbling up for you uh, so thank you again, those who have to go. Big kisses, flying kisses. We can close the session formally with some flying kisses, Andrea. Archana. Yeah. Thank you all. <laughs> Jennifer, I didn't see your flying kisses. Yay. Thank you. And okay. So I'll just let, let me open it up now and uh, anything that you're taking away from this last hour together, anything that's alive for you bubbling and maybe one or two minutes each so we can hear from a lot of people, uh, as many as possible. So I just want to open it up for people to share. And I'll put my email here, by the way, in case anyone wants to discuss their projects more in detail, uh, we can try to schedule some time for that. Um, no one's stepping up. Sure, I'll share something. Okay. Uh, you know, it's been so fun being here with everyone. And uh, it's, it feels like this is our eco, right? This is our home. We're, we're at home now with all of these incredible people. It's like we found each other and we've come to our, it's a virtual space, but it's becoming a real space, right? Our echo is forming. And this echo that we form here for me feels like it's this extraordinary seed. And my kind of thought experiment for this uh, workshop was just to think about the seed. And it was, it was really represented in the cafe, the process in the cafe where you kind of reflected on what you listened to, but what did you actually hear? And by speaking mm -hmm. each word, really bring it inside of you. And uh, what? how could this seed now evolve into it, the echo center, the epicenter of the echo conversation? Can we sustain that in some way? And what would that look like as in this kind of model of the echo, of echo, echo, the echo in, right? The echo in of what we're hearing instead of the echo bubble come into our echo in because we're all doing and being in the echoing. Great, thanks, Amit. Yeah, I'd like to share that. Um, uh, um, well, I've been doing a lot of projects. I've been the one running ahead, like being the forward in projects, uh, and it's been quite uh, stressful and heavy and here I think I am uh, so feel that I'm, oh, I'm coming with very so much experience and I feel uh, that I can be uh, that I don't know that I don't have to know and it's a relief and I'm just so happy <laughs> for that. Steve has Every time. Yes, Steve. Hi, thanks. Yeah, um, <clears throat> well, I, I'm bringing together various things here, but one of the uh, sessions I was on, I think it was one of the one of the days, was looking at technology um, as a way of delivering or creating education. And I think what we have, what we have here is. Um, the beginnings of something. I mean, you know, we're using Zoom technology here, yeah. But why does it have we and for a conference space? But there are a lot of very uh, able people here who could move this into like a, uh, into a uh, blockchain type solution of education or, or develop on this because uh, um, I think you know rather than it being once a year we could start 
building out from this they're using blockchain technologies to create um, um the beginnings of some of these ideas that we've been discussing so uh, yeah just wanted to put that out there thank you thanks steve anything from this session that's alive for you anything else yeah a lot lot of things like i think um, you start feeling in magic so for the last three days, uh, I started feeling that magic is happening around me and I'm enjoying every bit of it. And, um, so I think all of us here, we are doing something or the other, you know, we find uh, though that there is something wrong with the world or with the education system. And that's why we are hey, doing our bit. So ecoversity is another step, just uh, another small, you know, maybe a small thought that we have planted today. And let's see how magically we create it further but it's amazing to be here every time yeah thank you shruti mm -hmm. delaney in india we usually do this if you know bangra this hands is so boring <laughs> a little bit of this is yeah there we go go delaney <laughs> Yeah, the hand is really boring. I agree. Um, hello, everyone here. Um, there's a lot alive in me right now. Um, so I'm really grateful for everyone's just like collective presence at this moment that really helps contribute to that. Um, something that came up, um, which question was it? Um, yeah, around the, the, around the question about obstacles or blocks or assumptions that are holding me back, um, a sort of like uneasiness or embarrassment about this, what in my heart feels is very needed. Um, however, like being very sensitive to the environment, I noticed would be very countercultural. Um, there's a sort of hesitancy to, to start that and deliver what I guess just like anxious thoughts bring me could be a sort of criticism, which like could be taken personally because it's like the project that I'm pouring things into. Um, and as I was noticing that as a sort of obstacle, I think I, I do need to give a lot of credit to the past couple of days in like Ecoversities Network, because although in this particular locale, um, it could be something that's like, whoa, what is that? What's going on? Um, which I probably would say wouldn't be. We'd probably just attract other people that maybe are like still kind of behind the curtain wanting wanting to join but maybe feeling the same thing um but even if that is the case that no one else here it's a lie that no one else here would, would be interested there is a network across the world um there's people who i talked to today on the call um one which wasn't even just as a not not very far away from me um we're in the same region so yeah, I think there's certainly some inspiration and in just like what I want to ask myself as I take, as I walk away from this is how do I keep this inspiration alive? How do I keep it with me um, in, in the work that is yet to come? Great. Thank you, Delaney. Uh, Savan D. Hi, Manish and everybody. Um, so this, this uh, I found out about Ecoversities by chance. Um, and I'm just so grateful that I got the opportunity to spend this weekend uh, with everyone here. I got the opportunity to meet most of you in the breakout rooms and have conversations. Um, um, I have been doing something on the ground for the past four and a half years. And I'm in, a, I'm in a place of like really trying to position what we are doing and communicate what we are doing. 
and uh, just it has this past few days has really showed me that it is an ecoversity that I am building and uh, to fearlessly embrace that and to label what I'm doing as an ecoversity, as an alternative education institute. And um, I want to also take this opportunity to call out to everyone here who's uh, also still trying to find their paths and also like, you know, want to get involved, please. Um, my vision is that many of you who I have met here uh, or those who I haven't met yet, but uh, I invite you, um, I envision that you will join me here in Sri Lanka by the end of this year and help me in co-creating this space. Because when I wrote the mission statement for Green Life Generation five years ago, I the, the vision was to create a space where a multinational, multidimensional collective can come together to create a just and greener world. And so I invite you to come here and I envision that I will see many of you here. Great. Awesome. Give a little Savandi, a little Banga, Balle Balle, call it. Yes. Um, yeah, I've been having good good dreams about Sri Lanka. <laughs> so you may see me soon. <laughs> uh, yes, anybody else? We, we have a couple minutes left. So anybody else would like to share what's What's coming up for them? Yeah. Um, hello. I missed the whole conference because I was at work. And uh, before that, I was kind of flustered uh, due to personal losses in my life. And I lost uh -huh. some networks who died because of the whole lockdown. So that personally affected me, put me in front of a group and uh, groups and I'm alive. But thinking at home and planning, that's, that's not my thing. So here we also see per from personal experience how important uh, aliveness is and, and interaction with people rather than strategic thinking behind papers. Uh, we, I don't think many humans are made for that. Um, and uh, the fun, fun message, uh, I just got a message from uh, Andre to uh, Manish. I may come to India in 2023 for another educational project, but if I could link them up somehow, and they may need more teachers, uh, uh, I want your email and, and I will ask you for certain specialists, for specializations I don't have. So uh, that's, a, that's a little thingy and, and I'm excited about that. So I want to, it's coming spring and I want to get more alive and in action again, since the lockdowns all ended. Great, thank you, Flores. Yes, we look forward to welcoming you in India. Nice. Um, anyone else? I would like to la add a last one, if it's not late. Who's that? I'm getting confused Madhuri, with all hi. This. Yes, yes, go ahead, yes, of uh, course. What's interesting for me uh, for the last couple of days is how is that? <laughs> Uh, you encounter um, exactly those conversations that you have been stuck with, and then and and how how did I end up choosing those conversations, and 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 then there's there's an opening up that's happening. So so that was that was quite magical for me, Manish, for the last couple of days, and yeah, uh, Victoria Harris multiple, um, I mean, emphasis multiple times on diversity and how easy it is not, it's easier said than done and how, how she spoke about it. And, and today, the last question, but what are the, some of the blocks that you've been dealing with? I think uh, these two were coming back and forth in different conversations for me through, through, through these four days. So uh, very grateful for this experience. Thank you, Madhuri. Yes. Anybody else? I felt to share. Gabriela, Gabriela. The Brazilians. Uh, yes, I felt to share, to share something that bubbled in me because I have a aha 
we said aha it's something that i uh, i know it and I, it's more than idea and something that uh, it incites maybe uh, the translation correctly to aha and talking in the, the breakout rooms uh, it's that my blog was to to keep further with deco versity maybe it could be a block of so many here and I need to share it now. I passed this block. I'm so confident that it will go happen because I realized that we don't have to think in an ecoversity in an old paradigm, but in the abundance paradigm. In my block, it was, it, it was about the uh, sustainability, economic sustainability of the business of the ecoversity. But I was thinking in an old paradigm, in the capitalism paradigm, and when I, well, I have been learning from business as usual. And we think that uh, we, we needed to talk in the conversion in the paradigm, paradigm of abundance in the new economy of economy and thoughts all kinds of resources above the money and study economy. <laughs> It could be a good path to to think about all kind of research about the money to to go further. That's it. Thank you. Wonder, wonderful, Gabriella. <clears throat> I think that's the that's the the beautiful invitation. I think to to close it with because um, that's a chance. I think the biggest risk is we reproduce the. The logic of the system and this is what's so exciting about ecoversities is there's a chance for us to actually change all of the rules and and operate and bring it from a space operate from a space of abundance there's there are so many uh, my own experience so many many people and uh, <laughs> andrea you sure i got we have this in the eco this is our abundance lens that we put on when <laughs> In the in the in the core group, sometimes we put on our abundance glasses here when we're feeling scarcity. So um, invite you to put those on whenever you're feeling that. Um, yes, and that's the that's the um, that is the energy of 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 planet of Gaia of um, of life is is this abundance and to, so I think part of even the deschooling process or the decolonization process is to come out of this constant scarcity and uh, and really kind of surrender to a to a, the goddess of abundance. Um, so I would uh, just like to close it there. I'll, I I want to leave uh, two more minutes and you guys have already started something which I was gonna do but. Uh, if there's any invitations uh, you would like to put in the chat box for each other uh, or for me, if you want to invite me to your house for dinner, I'm always ready. Uh, but any invitations you want to put in, uh, any help you would like for your project, any invitation to people, any of your blogs or anything like Gabrielle is sharing, you can put it in the chat box so that we can kind of keep the spirit of co-learning and co-creating alive. Yeah, so let's take a minute. If there's any invitation you want to put in, chat in or your emails, whatever you would like to do with it. I would like to uh, actually have a 101 discussion because mm -hmm. there's lots in my head and uh, which I would like to discuss. And uh, definitely you will receive a mail from me very soon. So I'm going to bother you a lot. <laughs> Coco. Coco, hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Yes. Uh, sorry to disturb, Manish. Yes, <laughs> I'm bringing. Yeah. I'm, I'm I'm the bouncer. I'm the I'm the bouncer. I thought you were gonna be I'm zoom the eco bouncer. Yes, I'm, I'm the I'm the zoom bouncer. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs>